okay guys uh, so now as we know enough about mysql uh, replication based on gtid so uh, it's time to configure our replication uh, on the real environment so we can furthermore study uh, what we are going to have so i have two server here uh, the one is mysql um, gtid1 and the second one is mysql gtid2 uh, i don't have anything here uh, it's just a simple uh simple empty instance if you see here show databases okay okay what uh, i always forget this a so we don't have it here some anything here uh, is empty and what i have done here is that uh, i have downloaded uh, some test data which is test db master okay uh, and we don't have gtid enabled here for now as i told you we need only two variable uh, we, the one is gtid dash mode uh, like this and the second one is uh, uh, gtid uh, it, like is info gtid consistency okay so these are the two variables so let's check that if we have it, it them enabled or not so uh, select at gtid underscore mode so this is off okay and then we have another variable uh, which we call as the gtid enforced select uh, yes so these two are not enabled and uh, for the binary log uh, as is uh, mysql 8.0.23 so it's already enabled uh, and we don't know uh, we don't need to uh, set that so okay for now if there is as i told you that there is a table uh, which we call as the uh, in the system uh, in system uh, database uh, if you we use uh, sorry in the mysql database we use mysql show tables it, there is a table it's called gtid uh, executed so this is a table where everything is stored like uh, uh, as i told you before uh, how it works when gtid is, is enabled or uh, i mean the bin log is enabled bin log is off so how does it work so currently if you see here we don't have anything the reason behind that is that uh, we haven't executed anything even though if you execute any statement here uh, it won't uh, fill anything because we don't have gtid uh, enabled for now so let's exit here uh, i'm doing it in a way of uh, how we do it in mysql 5.7 i'm not going to use the persistent variable here uh, because most of the guys using uh, the 5.7 and it's necessary to restart the database so i will do it inside the configuration file and it's uh, mostly in the productions um, what people do, do is that uh, they uh, uh, they do do it on the persistent variable side uh, they like mostly they uh, recommend to uh, have uh, uh, restart these databases so i would say uh, it's better to restart them uh, and that's how you do it uh, and we will restart it uh, I have placed the two variable inside my configuration file and let's restart the database system CTL restart so once this is done uh, we will see that our variable will be enabled and uh, okay let's go to mysql uh, if you see here now it's on before it was off I'll show you here yeah it was off and if i check my this variable as well it is on now and let's enable it on the other server as well uh, vi slash etc my dot cnf and of course you need uh, different server ids on the both sides so i have already changed that one and obviously it's, as i told you in the earlier uh, configuration uh, this thing is uh, necessary so you should do this uh, server changes okay so that is done now and let's restart our database here as well just to restart uh, about the er so now now that is done as well and okay so i don't have any database here so what i'm going to do is that uh, i'm going to test db master here and import uh, the uh, what do you say uh, employees sql so this will load a lot of data here okay and if i clone the session 
uh, type the mysql and if i show you like uh, use mysql use mysql and if you see here now we are getting some data here gtid are executing so there are two variable the three columns server id and in to start interval and uh, interval end so this is going to tell you that one was the translation started and how many uh, statement it's executed okay so if you see here now it's updating and it's purging at the same time as well when it say that okay everything is written into the binary log file so that's it okay so uh, that's what uh, about we have done so now let's uh, start our implementation uh, for now let's continue with implementation uh, what we have done here is that we have enabled the binary logging here and let's if you let me confirm it here as well uh, it, what was it here yeah. select add it select add it so it's enabled here as well and let's check the gtid consistency now we need to create the mysql user uh, sorry the replication user and on the mysql side uh, so we can use that for our replication okay and that's is our user and let's uh, grant uh, some uh, some grant privileges uh, so that's it uh, and let's do uh, let's now take the backup here uh, on the master side and take it to the uh, replica side so uh, before that what we need here is that we need a uh, socket okay because i'm going to use this uh, uh, socket for transferring the data to the other server and uh, the other thing we need here is that uh, what do you say uh, extra backup yes uh, extra backup okay and that we have here is the well and the other one more thing is that i need the pigz uh, i'm going to compress it on the live go okay and we have it as well so if you don't have it you need to install it so extra backup uh, socket and picks for this uh, uh, implementation so let's stop the mysql server on the slave side okay and what you are we going to do here is that uh, let's stop it here and uh, just remove uh, the mysql directory whatever is inside and now uh, let's open the port for the extra backup so it will stream everything here uh, to the war lab mysql okay here and it will uh, zip it on the flow and then it will unzip it again and using the xpx stream so okay so now it's waiting there and let's start the backup here now on the master server uh, okay what is this unknown yum oh did i copy something here? okay maybe last time something something is wrong here let me see what is wrong here okay so let's do it here as well dash dash directory unknown variable argument yum where is the yum Do we have Pixium install? Pix. So let's take the backup. I figured out the issue. The issue was that uh, I, when I was taking the backup, uh, I was using the password as uh, like this. Uh, what, what do you say? Like this? Yeah, not here. 
uh, like plane here I tried like this without the columns uh, but it was getting problem so I, st I was doing it like this so when I used to do it like this uh, after I don't know after the exclamatory mark and one uh, it will call some yum install perpona something like this I don't know why this happening I guess uh, it was because and you see here uh, it's doing this so when I like uh, let's try this as well uh, when I try this so it's going to call something like this uh website i don't know uh, this is an alias or something like what uh, but it is uh, installing the repository so uh, that is why uh, my mysql was recognizes this uh, as a command like i don't know uh, i haven't tried this command but uh, this must be something command in mysql uh, which is used for the shortcuts or something like that so now uh, what i did is that i uh, uh, like quoted the command uh, the password inside uh, apostrophe signs uh, like this and now let's take the backup here okay so my port is listening to the backup and let's start the uh, extra backup so now it's taking the backup uh, the command was fine but <laughs> that was a funny thing here today I learned uh, okay uh, so let's uh, uh, take the backup here uh, and now let's uh, prepare the backup uh, for preparing the backup, you are going to use the extra backup command, extra backup prepare, uh, use the memory uh, like 1 GB and giving the target uh, where the backup is stored. So uh, let's prepare that and this should be done in a minute and that is done as well. Uh, ls, okay, must be cool. No, uh, before I want to like, uh, uh, let's uh, give it a uh, uh, rights because uh, this is done everything using the root variable so if I show you uh, ls minus a uh, it's everything under root user okay so let's uh, change the ownership okay uh, to mysql mysql and if you see here now everything is in under mysql uh, so let's start our mysql database here on the slave side okay once that is started uh, we will uh, need to know if you see here now uh, this file uh, bin log position okay bin log info this one uh, this have the information uh, which tells us that uh, till which uh, uh, transaction or till which uh, gtid uh, like this server already have when the backup so we are going to tell it um, by setting uh, the gtid uh, purge that uh, this is the gtid information till this very till this gtid uh, we have like uh, done everything like we have we have till this gtid and you can uh, get the information uh, from the master uh, after this gtid like uh, like the, this gtid from uh, sequence 1 to 181 we already have it so now we will set this variable and we will tell the mysql uh, that you can now ignore uh, anything before uh, this gtid is set so let's go to mysql and set this if you don't do this uh, you will not be able to uh, set your uh, gtid set your replication so now we have everything here um, let me set up my command here uh, so which is 31 port and this that that is it and the password was yeah so this is the command we are going to use here change master to master host which is gmic with gid1 this is the port this is the user password and we are going to tell it that master auto position is equal to one so it is uh, going to um, get its position by itself yeah, it's, it's like automatic process and it will uh, show warnings so show warnings are is that that you it's telling us that don't use uh, don't send the password in the plain text and all this warning master host is deprecated and all that so that's okay uh, we do not uh, we are not concerned for this now so let's start and let's say show slave status slash g oh man slash g okay so now if you see here our replication has been started everything yes so this is the master uid and this is the gtid executed set okay so this is set by how this is set when we set the gtid purge value then it's still that that till this position i have uh set the gtid and now it's telling it that this is my gtid executed set 
so now so this is has been cleared uh, this is empty because uh, it haven't retrieved anything if I like go here and create a database create database test Wow, this is too slow I don't know why let me check the error log <laughs> let's see top CPU is fine is wrong or what think something is wrong Why is this a metadata lock? Wow. Who is blocking it? The backup was completed, yes. Then why is it still? I don't know. Pocona uh, Pocona has done something here. Uh, let me see PS minus CF. Grip. Pocona. No. Extra backup. I don't know why it's still running. Kill minus nine because everything is locked. Can't get it. Already exist. <laughs> okay, guys. So if uh, anything happened to you like this, so you can check like uh, you see here. Uh, this guy uh, if you see here uh, table backup lock so that is why I clicked that something is running from the extra backup so I don't know why it was running but already everything was done so maybe it was got stuck so if you see here uh, we have a rapid and test database as well so going to the mysql uh, slave status and if you see here now we have uh, two transactions like it came from 182 to 183 so that's it guys uh, thank you 
uh, yes we had some problem in this one but yes we learned that how what these things can happen because it was uh, I don't know something went wrong uh, with the extra backup and it uh, locked everything uh, but yeah, it's okay I think it didn't release at the end so these things can happen uh, if you, it happens to you then you can guys can do the same thing as well so okay guys thank you for watching this one uh, and see you in the next one